Hello and welcome to this episode of Maintenance with Magnus. Today we're going to do some simple service and maintenance on the Deviflex. Today I brought with me both the Deviflex Rapid and the Deviflex Standard. They're quite similar but there are a few key differences between the tools that we're going to look into later. So the Deviflex is a non-magnetic instrument for in-rub serving that's been around since 2003. If you combine the Deviflex Rapid with the Devi counter, you can also do continuous serving. The tool is a low-risk, precise and robust tool built to withstand the rigorous drilling environments. So today we're going to split the tool, do a general check, remove the expansion sleeves, we're going to clean the tool and replace the O-rings, we're going to remount the expansion sleeves, replace accessory consumables and finally some testing of the tool. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disassemble the tools, split them in half to make them easier to work with. This should take around two to three minutes. So as you can see, this is the rear end of the Deriflex. I have both my Deriflexes here. This is where the block of valve should be. And then you have the seal sleeve, which covers the communication port. Moving down, you have the middle, or the, the second longest outer tube, which is the electronics outer tube. And then you have the strain gauge outer tube. You have the middle wheel housing. And then you have the extension tube, which goes into the, fr into the front wheel housing. So when disassembling the tool, it's important that you disassemble it between the middle wheel housing and the extension tube. If you open it any other places, you will most likely drown your tool. So make sure that you know where to open your tool, which is between the middle centralizer and the extension tube. From some of the older flexes, it has a open here written. That's not the standard anymore, but also on the older flex, you have the electronics outer tube, strain gauge outer tube, middle wheel housing and extension tube. So first we're going to open the Deviflex Rapid, which has a wedge connection. So first you, gra you grab your, uh, your Allen key from the Deviflex kit, mount it in a hole and then just open it. Then just screw it till it's loose. You don't want to try to remove the screw, because then you'll just deform everything. You don't need to take it out, just open it slightly. Then do the same on, on the other side. You just turn the tool 180 degrees tool face and open it on this side as well. And then you just pull the two halves apart. Simple as that. And this is the easy one. So for the old version, the reflex, this is a screw coupling. So what you need is you need to grab your 34 millimeter wrench and your uh, inner tube wrench from the Deviflex kit. Then you take your 34 millimeter wrench here and your inner tube wrench here. You do not want to use a pipe wrench or something over here because underneath here you have a strain gauge. If you use the pipe wrench here, you can damage your strain gauge which in turn can damage your calibration results. There we are. And now we should be able to simply unscrew it with hand force. But I think there, there are 18 turns or something, so it's a bit of work. And there we are. Now this one's also split in, in half, making it quite a lot easier to work with. And that's, that's how to, to split the Deflex in half. This is also the way you, you split it when you're gonna put it back in its case, transporting it. So, the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a general check of the tool. This should take from five to 10 minutes. So what I'm starting with is just checking whether my outer tubes are bent or not. If you have a bent outer tube, you'll most likely have bad results. So I just take something cylindrical that can stand on the table and put it next to the outer tube. And then just simply rotate the tool and see whether or not you have a run out. This Deflex looks pretty straight. And if you have like more than say one, one and a half millimeters, you'll, your tool is most likely too bent to be within the spec, so you should return it for calibration. The second thing I'm doing is I'm checking the wheel alignment. So you want all, all the wheel dampers, which is what we call this part, you want them all to be within five degrees tool face of each other. So if this one's at zero degrees, this one can be zero degree, degrees plus minus 
five degrees. And the same for the front wheel housing. And this one's also okay. And then we're gonna do a check of the wheels. Spin all the wheels like a full turn around, just to ensure that you have no cracks or chips or might be missing after all. Uh, and if it's missing, you're not getting the contact you want with the drill strings, or you're gonna get bad results. And the same with the springs here. You do need good tension in the springs. If you have a very, uh, very acidic environment, your springs might just corrode away. It's a good thing to always check that your springs are present and in working condition. And I do this for all centralizers, both the rear, the middle, and the, and the front one. So the same thing on the extension tube part. So mine's just a little bit dirty, but it's looking, looking good. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check the O-rings. So I start with the O-rings and the seal sleeve. These are the most important O-rings. Because if these are damaged, you'll have water going into the Lemo plug, which if you're lucky only corrodes the, uh, the Lemo connector, giving you bad connection. Worst case, you can actually drown your tool, rendering it completely useless and, and unrepairable. So make sure that your O-rings are in a, in a good condition. And these O-rings come as a spare in your kit. So we're gonna go into replacing them later. And then do the same for the O-rings on the front and the back, removing both protective caps. And just checking for any damages on the threads and the O-rings. Looking all good. And the same with this one. So the next thing we're doing is we're checking the wedge coupling of the Devaflex Rapid. So in your Devaflex Rapid kit, you have a long Allen wrench, so six millimeter, I think, or eight. So just go over to your wedge coupling and just make sure that the tightening set screw moves freely. If it's a bit stuck, you can just take it out and clean the potential rust of it. And do the same with, uh, with the set screw in the extension tube. Just make sure that they're moving freely. And once I've done that, I'm replacing or remounting my protective caps. Always use your protective caps when the tool is not in use. This prolongs the life of the tool. Okay, so the last thing we're doing is a, a check of the Lemo connector, as well as a communication check. So just do a visual check of the Lemo connector, see if you have any corrosion. If you have corrosion, just grab yourself some electrical spray, contact spray, and just spray a good amount, and then grab yourself some compressed air. You can either use the air from a compressor or just some canned pressurized air. So just, just blow out the, the remaining residue here. Then we're gonna check the accessories. So we have the front shock absorber and the block of valve. So on the front shock absorber, you wanna ensure that you have your bull nose present and intact, your landing shoulder, one plastic ring, the spring, and the second plastic ring, in that order. And just ensure that you are able to compress, compress the spring. So if you have quite a lot of dirt here, you might, this one might be, uh, be stuck or seized. So what you do then is just remove this screw and remove the bull head and clean everything. For the block of valve, uh, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna first check the pumping seal. Might be pretty clean. You might have quite a lot, lot of dirt in here. You can just rinse that out with water. Then you wanna check that your spearhead functions and just make sure that you can bend it down. And lastly, for for those with the Devflex Rapid, you also have a uh, a swivel here. So just make sure that you you can turn your swivel and that it's not stuck. And this one also looks good enough. After that's done, I'm grabbing the either either the phone or the PDA. If you have a phone, just grab your USB-C to USB-A adapter and plug it in. And then you plug the Devi modem to the USB adapter and into the DeviFlex. If you have a if you have the old yellow PDA, just plug this USB-C or this USB uh, cable straight into the PDA boot. Yeah, so I started my DeviFlex app. I put my USB-C to USB-A adapter in the phone and then I mount my Devi modem. So this will provide me with a pop-up on the Android phone saying allow Doveflex to access the modem 2.0 and I press OK. 
Once that's done, I can just take my Lemo connector. You see there's a small arrow here, as well as a small thing there, and a red dot on the Lemo, on the Lemo connector. This one aligns up with the red dot. Gently push it in, and then I get a message saying, select tool one found, and then I, then I connect to my tool. So that's it for the general check of the tool. So the third thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the expansion sleeves from one of the Deviflexes. So as you can see, my standard Deviflex is B size, while my Rapid is N size. Uh, so now we're gonna remove the all three N size centralizers. So what I do first, is I grab my five millimeter Allen wrench from the Deviflex kit and just remove the wheel dampers. And there's no need to over tighten these screws so they, they should come, come loose pretty easily. You remove the wheel damper and you remove the two end size springs and set them aside. Then I'm taking my four millimeter Allen wrench from the the Deviflex centralizer kit and removing these M8 set screws or you don't need to remove them just unscrew them a couple turns and these are the screws that actually locks the uh, expansion sleeve in place then I'm grabbing my one and a half or a two millimeter Allen wrench from the Deviflex centralizer kit and removing the small screws here so I don't need to remove both, I just need to remove one from each side of the uh, wheel bolt. And these are the ones that locks the wheel bolt in, bolt in place and securing it from falling out. Okay, so then I think take a uh, three millimeter punch. This is also included in your Deviflex centralizer kit and just push out the wheel bolt. If it's been a long time since you've removed the centralizers, they might be stuck. You can just take a hammer or a wrench for that matter. Give it some gentle punches. So now that you've done this, your centralizer should in theory be just easily removable. So you might have some dents here that can cause it to be a bit stuck. And if it's been a long time since you've removed the centralizers, they might be filled with dirt and grease. Uh, what you can do then is go over to your centralizer kit and grab your 50 millimeter wrench and just start turning it. You can also use some general lubricant oil like this, this one into wherever you, wherever you can fit it and leave it for a few minutes so that the oil can dissolve the rust. And just remove this one. Now my double flex is ready for, for further cleaning. Now we're gonna clean the tool. This should take from five to 15 minutes, depending on how dirty your tool is. So I'm gonna start with the Deviflex that we removed the centralizer from earlier. So as you can see, it's, it's not too dirty. Take a seal brush and try to brush out as much of the dirt as you can. If these fills with dirt, you're gonna have some difficulties mounting centralizers as well. Next thing we're doing is we're gonna clean every spring, wheel bolt, and wheel. So just grab yourself a wet wipe. Just start by taking one wheel, cleaning off all the dirt of it. Because if you, if you have lots of dirt building up on the flat edges, uh, you might get some extra friction between the wheel and the Deviflex, which can cause it to not rotate properly or extra vibrations that you don't want. Cleaning all my wheels and then the same on the wheel bolts now it's also a good time to just check if your wheel bolts are in good shape because sometimes after you run quite a few miles or a thousand miles with the wheels you might get some grooves on the wheel bolt from the wheels if you have some deep marks here you want to replace these wheel bolts so just contact your local Devico supplier to get some spares also removing the two hex screws from the wheel damper, cleaning those, checking that the threads are in good shape. Because if you have damaged threads here, you might get the screw stuck and then it might just snap off. If that happens, you'll have worse centralization of the tool and 
you'll get worse survey results. So then you should send it back for, for repair. Then I'm removing the wheel from the wheel damper and just cleaning the wheel as well. And then I'd like to just remount them as soon as I've finished cleaning. It's not an issue on the expansion sleeves because you have these, these long wheel bolts, but on the B-size one, the wheel bolt that goes, goes in the wheel damper is 15 millimeters long, while the other ones are 13, so it's easy to take the wrong one. Once that's done, I'm just taking off my thread protection caps. Just cleaning the threads. Once again, making sure that I have no, no damages on the threads. Then I, I want to remove the old O-rings and place these. So you can just use your fingers, you can use a O-ring plier that, or a uh, screwdriver. Neither the O-ring plier or the screwdriver are included in your DevFlex kit, so you got to bring your own. And then I go into my, my spare part kit. This one comes with all DevFlexes. And in here you should have an extra set of O-rings. So you have a 25 times 2 O-ring, which is for all the, all the small O-ring grooves. And then you have a 33.05 times 1.78, which is these O-rings, which we're going to replace next. Just grab two O-rings, mount them, and just grab your O-ring grease from the, from the kit and apply a decent amount. And just smear it out. Then you can remount your cap. Then we're going to do the, the cleaning of the lemon connector and a uh, replacement of the, of the O-rings. Clean it off good with a wet wipe. Then grab yourself some electrical spray, contact spray. Just spray it in, let it work for a while. While I'm uh, letting the electrical spray work, I'm just removing my O-ring here. So while I let the contact spray work, I grab myself an O-ring plier. And I'm just removing these two O-rings. It's important that these are in good shape because if they're damaged, you'll most likely get a highway straight into your electrical components, which will damage your, your tool. So now that my, that my electrical spray has worked for a bit, I'm grabbing some compressed air and just spraying out the, the rest. And then I go into my Deviflex spare part kit and grabbing the 33 millimeter O-rings. I take two when I'm mounting them. I'm really careful not to damage them across when I'm pulling them across here because you might have some sharp edges. Just be really gentle. Then I grab my O-ring grease and also give these a good amount of O-ring grease. Then I'm just using my, my uh, seal sleeve, just gently pushing it over and just rotating it to ensure that I have good spread of the O-ring grease. Then I take a wet wipe and just remove the extra O-ring grease. There we are. That's how to replace the O-rings. After we've done that, we're working our way down to the middle, middle wheel housing, which is also one of the differences between the Deviflex Rapid and the Deviflex Standard. So the Rapid has a wedge connection while the Deviflex Standard has a regular screw coupling. And I'm checking for the Deviflex, Deviflex Rapid. I'm removing both protective caps. And then I'm making sure that there are no damages here. I clean it off. And then I take my wrench and just ensure that the screw runs quite freely here. So you can see there's usually some rust that gathers. So if it's quite a lot of rust, you can just remove this screw and just brush it off with a steel brush. And same for this screw, just make sure that it runs freely. Uh, you're not able to remove this screw. So if this one's slow or something, just grab yourself some general lubricant oil. Spray it in there and just let it sit for as long as you want. Once that's done, I'm just reassembling my protective cap. It's 
it's good to always have your protective cap mounted when you're not using your Devoflex. And then I'm moving on to the standard version with the screw coupling. So here I just take a wet wipe and remove the molly coat. This way it'll be easier for me to see if there are any damages on the, on the threads. And as you can see, mine looks all good. While I'm at that, I'm also checking this one on the extension tube to see if there are any dents or damages around the auto tube here. And if you have a lot of dents here, you might get a misalignment between the wheel housing, which in turn gives you worse calibration or worse uh, survey results. So once that's done, I'm going into my Doflex kit. I'm grabbing both my molly coat and my o-ring grease. So first I'm applying o-ring grease to the o-rings. Just smearing that out. And then I take my molly coat and apply a generous amount on these threads as well as on the brass bushing over here. So when you're assembling your tool, this will just be smeared out automatically and keep your tool from seizing, or the, uh, keep the threads from seizing, that is. Once that's done, I'm just remounting my, my uh, protective caps. So the other thing we're gonna do then is to clean the wheel dampers of the B-size Devoflex. We're just, just gonna show this on one since they're all the same. So first, you take your five millimeter wrench from the Devoflex kit and unscrew the two hex screws here. So the idea is the, is the same as when cleaning the end size centralizers. Just remove that, check your springs. These ones are pretty clean, so then check your hex screws. If they're dirty, clean them. And then the same with the wheel. Just remove the wheel bolt, check that your wheel's clean. There can also be a lot of dirt gathering inside here, so you, can, you want to clean that as well. Then you grab your 3mm Allen key from the Deflex kit and remove the small screw securing the wheel bolt. And then just gently push out the wheel bolt and remove the wheel. Then you grab yourself a wet wipe and clean those. So if you see that any of your, your bolts have been cracked or, or split in two, because these are tungsten and can, when they get in and a hard enough shock they can't crack. So if that happens, just contact your local Devico supplier so we can arrange for you to get some spares. Then I'm remounting the wheel bolt, just pushing it in, and then I'll take my screw and remount it. And then do the same for this wheel. And then I'm remounting my wheel housing. So if you notice, you have, as you can see from the end size kit, you have four green springs and you have two blue springs. The blue springs are a little bit stiffer than the green ones, and you want the blue springs you always want, to, want those to be in the middle wheel housing because that wheel housing is closer to the strain gauge shaft which gives you better results of higher quality. So if you use the blue ones here you might get some, some worse results. Just remount your springs and your wheel damper. As for cleaning the front truck absorber, just rinse it off with water as long as you haven't, haven't got this one filled with dirt, it's not, it's not too much of an issue. You can just rinse it off with water. If it's so much dirt in here that the bullhead is stuck, you go into your, uh, your Deviflex centralizer kit. There should be a 10 millimeter Allen wrench. So you just remove this screw and then remove the bull nose. As for the block of valve, kind of the only part that needs to be cleaned here, or there are three parts. So you want to ensure that you clean this one good with a wet wipe and then just lube it up with some general lubricant grease. We use Orion 95 Plus. Rinse out any dirt from here. You can also use a, say an O-ring plier, dig out dirt inside. And then for those of you with a rapid Deviflex, just make sure that, that this one isn't filled with dirt. We haven't had any issues where it's been filled with dirt, so it should be an issue for you either. And that's it for cleaning the Deviflex. So the fifth thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remount the centralizers that we removed earlier. This should take from five to 10 minutes. So as you can see, one important thing to notice first is that you have 
four green springs and you have two blue springs. This is the same for, for the uh, regular b size as well. So you want the blue ones on the middle wheel housing because these are the stiffest ones and this gives you the best survey results when used in the middle. So what I do first is I, want, I grab my expansion sleeves and I try to mount them. So sometimes you might get a few expansion sleeves that just doesn't fit. And this might be because you have some damages from pipe wrenches or, or something. Like if it stops here, instead of trying to hammer it on, just remove it and file down any, any burrs or, or yeah, whatever is causing the issue instead of using brute force. Because that, will, that might just deform the edge here, which in turn makes it even harder to mount it. Then I'm taking one of the long wheel bolts and one of the wheels. And then I mount my, my wheel bolt. Okay, then I take, take my one and a half millimeter Allen key and my set screw. And I just screw this one in. And you always want to, want to mount the wheel bolts before you tighten the set screws. Because you might tighten this one a bit skewed, which makes it very hard to mount the wheel bolts. And then I take my two green spring, since I'm on the rear end of the flex. <clears throat> As you can see, there are a few arrows here. You don't need to put them in the direction of the arrows. It just says that the arrow here should match the arrow here. If you have the H size, there's an X here and an X there. This is because this is a auto-rotating tool. So the wheel damper is not like this. It's somewhat skewed. So the tool automatically rotates. Screw in these. Also here, just a gentle touch. You don't need to over tighten these because then the screws can break. So now that I've mounted both my wheel damper and my other wheels, I can go on and tighten these. The same here, just a gentle touch. You don't need any force. And then I do the same for the other, other two. Just grab my stuff. Expansion sleeve first. First wheel bolt. Second wheel bolt. Set screws. And then I take my blue springs. These should always be on the centralizer with the, uh, the long protection cap. Mount them in place. Wheel damper. Hex screws. And the centralizer set screws. There we are. That's how to remount the sand lights. Ready to go survey and size holes. So the sixth thing we're going to do is we're going to replace some accessory consumables. This should take around five minutes. So for this procedure, I've put away my Deviflex since we don't need it. And I've gone into the, the Deviflex sand kit and brought out my end size block of valve and my end size landing shoulder. So the procedure is the same, so we're just going to set up my kit for uh, end size serving. These does not, do not come as, uh, as spares in your Deviflex kit, so if you need new ones, you need to contact your local Devico supplier. We're starting with the front shock absorber. So go into your centralizer kit, grab your uh, eight millimeter Allen wrench, and just unscrew the screw here. Then just remove the bull nose, landing shoulder, plastic ring, spring and the last plastic ring. Just take a look at the shaft and see whether it's corroded or damaged or, or dirty. If it's dirty, just take a wet wipe or a 3M pad and just clean it off. And then you reassemble it with the plastic ring first. Then you go with the spring. 
another plastic ring, and for me, my incised landing shoulder. You see there's a flat area around the threads here. This should line up with the groove in the, uh, in the bull nose. Just align those. See, there we are. And just remount your screw. There we are. So that's it for the front shock absorber. Next, you want to grab your block of valve. And then you grab a 34 millimeter wrench. And you need an adjustable spanner. Just unscrew these. This shouldn't have been tightened too hard. Then you unscrew the nut. And then you remove the pump in seal. So you can see mine's pretty clean, but you might have some dirt in your in your threads. You just grab a steel brush and just brush away what whatever dirt you can brush away. And then you take your end size pump in seal. As you can see, this one has two washers as well as a black sleeve inside. Make sure that the slot here for the water points towards the spearhead. Just mount that. Then you screw in your nut, just slightly hand tighten it. And then remount your last part. Tighten it, just enough. And there we are, now I'm ready to survey and size holes. And the procedure is the same if you just want to replace it with another size. Uh, the seventh and last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mount the tools together and then we're gonna do some simple testing. This should take around five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna start with the wedge connection. As you can see, I have both day flexes here. So I just remove my protection cap to reveal the wedge both here and inside the extension tube. And then just line up the wedge. Mount them both together. Then I grab my long Allen key and just tighten it. This one you can just give it a good tight. You don't need to like stand on the Allen wrench, but tighten it a bit more than what I did with the other parts. And you do this on, on both sides. So that's it for mounting this Steriflex together. And then we're also gonna mount the uh, old version with the screw connection. So then just mount them together. And then you grab your 34 millimeter wrench from the David Flex kit, as well as the inner tube wrench. You don't need to over tighten here either. This should be enough. So that's it to mount the David Flexes. For the testing, I'm gonna put the old version, set it aside. Open the communication port. We'll just open the seal sleeve to reveal the communication port. Then you grab, you grab your Android phone or PDA. Then you connect your uh, USB-C to USB-A adapter and your TEVI modem. So once you open your DeviFlex app on your phone, press OK to allow access to the TEVI modem. Then just connect the Connect the cable, and you can see one tool found. Press the tool and press connect. And just go into online. And what I'm doing now is I'm just Putting the tool up in on V stands in kind of in, in the center. And 
I'm just ensuring that my inclination is approximate to zero. You will, you will get a deflection here because the, the weight of the centralizers will, will bend the tool, so that's normal. But just ensure that the inclination is normal and that your gravity tool face rotates when you're rotating it. And also lift it up a little bit just to ensure that you get that the inclination dial follows. So that's, that's it when it comes to testing, simple as that. And that's it for this episode of Maintenance with Magnus. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to contact your local Devico supplier or Devico directly at our website. And remember, preventive maintenance is key to extending equipment life, ultimately saving you both time and money.